what is a clinometer? A clinometer is an any of various instruments for measuring angles of elevations or inclinations. The materials needed are protractor, tissue roll or drinking straw, thread, a weight, stiff card, tape, stick glue, and glue gun. The first step is to prepare your protector and cut a piece of something hard to serve as a base for your protector. The second step is to paste your protector. Also, prepare a tube. I got this tube from buying an aluminum foil. If you don't have a tube, you can have a drinking straw as an alternative. The third step is to cut four slits at the end of the tube. Top, bottom, left, and right. The fourth step is to slip some thread through the slits. Just as so. The midpoint will serve as your center. The fifth step is to attach the scale to the bottom of the tube. The sixth step is to tie a thread onto the washer. Finally, paste the thread to the center of the scale. First, find a building you want to measure its height. Second, find a spot to where you can have a distance between the object and to the position where you are standing. Third, using your clinometer, look at the part of the building where you wanted to measure and make sure to position the clinometer so that the part or area of that particular object or a building will be seen at the center of the eyepiece. Fourth, stand still and let someone from your member measure the angle of elevation using the protector. Use the thread as an indicator or guide. Make sure that the thread has stopped swaying. And lastly, record the measured angle of the object or the building. So, to solve for the height of the building, get the angle measured as you look into the tip of the building. And the angle that we've got is 41 degrees, and it is called angle of elevation. Then, after getting the angle, measure the distance between the person standing and the building in the ground. Only measure till the toe of the person. So the distance that we've got is 600 cm or 6 m. Next is measure the eye level of the person starting from the ground and to his or her eye level. And the measurement that we've got is 157 cm or 1.57 m. And one thing is that the distance of the person in the ground and the building is parallel to the line of sight. So therefore, the line of sight is also 600 cm or 6 m. Finally, we can now get the height and based on the information and illustration that we have gathered, we can get the height by using the trigonometric function which is TOA or tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tangent of 41 degrees is equal to the opposite which is x for the height and over the adjacent side which is 600 centimeters or 6 meters. So now we will cross multiply and it will become x is equal to tangent of 41 degrees multiplied to 600 centimeters. And then we have 521.57 centimeters or approximately 522 centimeters or 5.22 meters. Then after getting the x, we will add the x to the 1.57 meters 
which is the measurement of the eye level to the ground. Therefore, the final height of the building is 679 centimeters or 6.79 meters. Oh, Lord, oh, you're moving on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah.